Hi, today we're going to paint an Asian brush painting of a cherry blossom tree. So I'm going to take my brush and a set of watercolors, put a few drops of water in my black, pull, stroke it, pull, twist. Then I'm just going to practice my brush strokes, barely touching, making a thin line and pulling it all the way up to the top of the page. It's okay if it skips. See if you can make a series of those lines, very thin, going all the way up to the top of the page. I would make at least three sets. Give yourself a chance to practice. Next, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to press it down, pull it, lift it up, twist it. Press it down, pull it, lift it up, twist it. See if you can get those lines to get very thin till they come to a point. Then I'm going to do a set of those, then press it all the way down, pull, and lift. You see how it's getting scratchy? That's called the dry brush. Very nice. And it's also a lighter wash. This is a good way to explore those different effects. And it's nice in this if it changes. It gets thicker, thinner, till like a very thin line. It's kind of bumpy too. Then I'm going to try this one where I am pressing it down and wiggling and twisting it. So it gets super thin. Let it kind of dance there. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to use these strokes and I'm going to create a tree. I'm going to start with some broad strokes going up and getting thinner. So I'm going to press my brush straight down and I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to go to the side a little, twisting, pulling. This one is a little bit, okay, I'm going to try again. A little more pull paint. I'm going to press down, twist, and pull. Trying to let it get thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay. And I'm going to have the, it's a Y, so I'm going to make another Y coming off this. I'm going to press it down a little. Lift, twist, and touch till it gets so thin, it disappears. And I'm going to, off of that one, I'm going to press it down, thin. Skip over here, make another Y. And I'm sort of thinking about uh, an asymmetrical balance if I'm doing this. And that practice with your brush of making all those different lines, this is where you can use the lines and create energy. And here I have um, different shades of wash. Some are darker and some are lighter. Here it's the line that changes and varies. I just kind of look around and see. And it's okay if they stop and start. Okay, so I, I kind of like that. Oh, I rinsed out my brush and I have some clean fresh water here so my brush doesn't have any black paint. And I put maybe two drops, oops, two drops of um, water in my red. I'm gonna put some clean water, touching it on the side of my brush. Touch, 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 in kind of a pattern. And I'm gonna put a little bit of red in here. Just touch it in the water and let it spread itself. And it'll create that sort of like a like the different blossoms. If I want to put a little more water, just add a little more water to it too. I give it time to. Well, that's okay. That's a nice little happy mistake. Okay. Paint. It's bleeding in the 
water, it creates that really nice uh, fluid effect. And I'm just going to think about creating the whole rhythm across the tree. With a little white in between. Just using a gentle touch. Pretty soon I'll have a beautiful tree. There we go.